Hello students. In this video, we will see the projection of a plane surfaces. Second problem. So second problem is uh, a triangular lamina. of 30 mm sides rests on one of its corner on HP such that the lamina makes Forty five degree with HP. And the median passing through the corner. on which it rests appears to be inclined at 30 degree to VP draw its projections So if you observe the orientation of this triangular lamina with respect to horizontal plane and vertical plane so it is resting on one of its corner resting one of its corner okay so the median passing through this corner okay which makes an angle of 45 degree to sorry 30 uh, 30 degree to vertical plane so now so now this is the median which is passing through this corner which makes an angle of 30 degree but the surface is 45 degree to horizontal plane for a little bit bigger picture now this is the corner which is resting on HP if you take A B C now B is the corner which is resting on HP so the surface makes an angle of 45 degree to horizontal plane and the median passing through this corner point is at 30 degree to vertical plane now let us see its solution so it is a fort triangular lamina of size 30 mm so resting on one of its corner on HP so such that the lamina makes 45 degree with HP and the median passes passing through the corner on which it rests appears to be inclined at 30 degree to VP. So now let us draw first one XY line, the thin XY line. So let us mark XY line. So right here VP. HP. So now it is what triangular lamina. So we just mark so somewhere 30 mm let us mark point here A this point as a B. 
so now to get the point C so use compass so measure the distance here it is a 30 mm and we just draw two arcs from both points so now you got a point C so let us join it So let us construct construction lines to touch the XY line from every corner. So here I got a point B dash and A dash. So here I got a point C dash. So now let us draw a thick line here. Let us work connecting the point C dash and B dash. Okay. So now this is this is a C corner, this is a B corner, and this is a A corner. Okay. So now you made a one edge as a perpendicular or one side as a perpendicular to VP, and you got an opposite corner here. So let us place this corner on HP. Now just I'm going to make a mark here. I'll just to make a mark here. So I'm going to make it as a point C dash. So now we'll measure the distance here. So I'll place an first angle. So keeping C as a reference. So I will draw 45 degree, I will mark a 45 degree, 10, 20, 30, 40, 45. So now we will construct a very thin line here. Construct a thin line. Okay. Now I will measure the distance. That is what uh, C dash, B dash. Now taking C as a center point, I will mark over here. So now you got a point B dash and A dash. So now we can little erase the extra construction line if you want, otherwise you can just leave it. Thickness of construction line should be a very thin. Okay, Don't go for too much dark lines okay. so now you drop down the construction lines from the points is what uh, a dash and c dash so similarly from top you as they would just drop down all points towards right side construction line from all points towards right side so now wherever getting you just mark those points so I got a point here it is what a A I got a point B and I got a point C so now let us complete a triangle by joining all these three points with a thick line here okay. so now let us mark the median which is passes through the corner point
So let us mark this as a point D. So here I am going to mark it as a D1 because the median distance has been reduced. Okay? The next thing is that so the median which is passing through that particular corner makes an angle of 30 degree. Okay? So now let us draw on a line considering one reference point. So now I will consider here it is my reference point. So from this point I will draw one 30 degree line. So 10, 20, 30. Or else you draw two away from the initial position. Okay. So I just drawn in parallel here. Let us check we got a correct it or not. Okay. Now let us mark a point C here. Okay. So now you construct the original distance of the median from point C. Okay. So now you got a point D here. You got a point D. So now let us draw one horizontal line from the point D. Let us draw one horizontal line point D. Is that our thin construction line? Okay. So now we measure the distance of D1 here. Sorry, it is D1, not a D dash. Okay. Measure the distance CD1. So now keeping C as a reference point, we just draw an arc to cut the horizontal line reference. Now you got a point d1 here okay now let us connect with a thin line the c1 c point and d1 point here okay now so keeping c point as a reference as a d point as a reference so you need to reproduce this entire top view okay in align with CD1, in align with CD1. Okay, so you can consider one horizontal reference line. So I'll just draw one horizontal reference line. So making it perpendicular to sorry. So that is what a vertical line AB here. Just draw a thin line here. Okay. So now you measure the distance from d1 point to a okay, and take d1 as a reference point cut this reference line so d1 as a reference point cut this reference line okay now let us mark this point as a b now this point as a c so now join all the points with the help of thick line draw a thick line to get the rotated shape of the triangle Now you construct again construction lines. So above x y line, now let us construct construction lines above x y line. From all corners of the triangle. So 
similarly get the points get the construction lines from front view so now let us identify the points let us identify the intersection points okay so now this point refers to c dash this point refers to b dash and uh, sorry so no this point is a now this point refers to a dash now let us join again all the points with the help of straight line Measure the specify the dimensions. It's thirty mm. So here angle is forty five degree. So here angle is 30 degree. 